Hi everyone, this is Ashish Dhyani. Welcome to InfoSec Train. And today we'll be discussing about the attack LLMNR poisoning. So first we should know that what LLMNR is. LLMNR stands for Link Local Multicast Name Resolution. So it is a name resolution service that we use in Windows for resolving the IP address of a host on the same local network. Now, when we are talking about LLMNR, so it works by sending the request to all the devices across the network requesting a specific host name. So it does this using a name resolution request packet. So it broadcasts that packet to all the devices on the network. And if there is a device with that host name, it will respond with a name resolution response packet, which is containing its IP address and then the connection will be established with the requesting device. Now, that is how LLMNR works. Now, how this service or this protocol can be poisoned. So let's say a user is there, a victim is requesting for any shared folder or any shared drive, right? The only problem is that the DNS can't connect to that shared drive because it does not exist. So the server replies back saying that he cannot connect to the victim. So the victim will multicast this request to the whole network in case any particular user knows the route to the shared drive. Now attacker can spoof as an authoritative source for name resolution by responding to this multicast request by a victim as if they know the identity of the shared drive a victim wants to connect with. And in turn, it requests its NTLM hash. Once the attacker got the hash, now the attack is done. So this is how LLMNR poisoning works. Now let's see how we can do it, right? So the very first thing that we should know is there is a tool with the name Responder. Now Responder is a tool which is in built in Kali Linux and it is a Python coded tool. So when we are doing the attack using responder, so the very first thing that we'll do, we'll start the responder for listening. Now, as we can see, it says listening for events. Now, if any event, any request occurs, anything happens, so it will be captured. Now let's see, we have a Windows 10 Active Directory machine. So this Windows 10 client is connected to the Active Directory. Now if I will search for anything, let's say slash slash ABC. So here it will be captured, right? And once it is captured, we can see that we got the hash of the target machine, the password hash. So we can stop this attack. And once you got the hash, then you just have to crack it. You have to try to crack it. Now there are lots of tools that we can use to crack the hash. So we'll capture this whole thing. We'll co copy this whole thing. I'll create a new file. adhash.txt and I will paste that hash here. Save it. And then there is a tool hashcat. So I will use the command hashcat hyphen m adhash.txt the hash file and slash user slash share slash word list slash rocket.txt. So this is the file which is having lots of plain text password. So it will calculate and then it will give you the plain text for it. So as we can see, we found the plain text for the hash. So this is how attackers, they perform LLMNR poisoning. Now how you can mitigate LLMNR poisoning? So you can disable LLMNR, 
you can require network access control implement network segmentation you can use strong passwords so all these are the things that you can do to mitigate llmnr poisoning so that's it for this video thank you